<sighs> okay, okay, mine. Oh, uh, yes, collect all the sand. Collect all the. Oh, wait. Why am I collecting sand? Man, I must have gotten so bored of Minecraft 1.9 that I just went crazy and started mining sand? What is wrong with me? Wait a minute. I know what to do. If I'm bored of Minecraft 1.9. Why don't I go and check out Minecraft 1.10? What is going on, guys? I'm Wars SMT here, and today we're gonna go over the 10 new additions to Minecraft 1.10. I'm very excited for this update. I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna be really excited for this update, too. So yeah, in this video I'll be showing you guys the brand new updates and features that you may not know of in Minecraft 1.10. So before we get right to the video guys, give this video a good old thumbs up. You got three seconds. Three, two, one, and let's get right to this top 10. Alrighty guys, so the first feature here is that there are two new mobs in the Minecraft game that are hostile, which include the Stray and the Husk. Now, if you're wondering what these are different, is that the husk will basically be like a zombie, but uh, in the desert, like they spawn in the desert. And if you notice, he doesn't burn alive. Unlike the stray, on the other hand, which is a skeleton, uh, which will burn in a day. And this guy spawns around, I believe, ice biomes. And uh, he actually will be able to drop slowness arrows if you actually can kill him. You'll be able to get some slowness arrows from him. So let me go kill him real quick. And as you guys can see, he has dropped arrows of slowness. So that's pretty cool. On the other hand, though, when a husk kills you or when it attacks you, what it will actually do is it will make you lose hunger along with health. So not only is it dangerous for health, but it's also dangerous for hunger, which can eventually be dangerous for health. So overall, the new mobs here are pretty, pretty mean. In Minecraft 1.10, there's also the polar bears, which will obviously spawn in ice biomes. And the polar bears will actually spawn in cubs. And I believe what will happen is if you punch the cubs, the mommy bear won't be so happy about that. Or uh, the mommy bear will chase you anyways. All right, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Wait for this polar bear. So a little side note about these polar bears is that they're actually faster in the water. So you you don't want to be by these guys when you're in the water, all right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go away from this guy, all right? What about you? Are you nice to me? Yeah, you're nice. See, you don't have a baby. That's why you're nice. But now that you have a baby, you're gonna you're gonna get a little defensive about that, aren't you? Ar aren't you? Yeah, you're getting a little defensive about that, ar aren't you? Oh, oh no, I'm in the water. I, sh I probably shouldn't be in here. Oh no. In Minecraft 1.10, there are brand new spawn eggs for a lot of other characters, such as the Wither Skeleton, uh, the new mobs like the Stray, and the Husk, and also some other characters such as the Cat, the Donkey, the Mule, the Skeleton Horse, the Zombie Horse, and some more. In the new Minecraft 1.10 update, there are also a new block called the Magma Block, which you can actually find in the Nether near Lava Patches. And basically what this block will do is if you walk over it, It'll do some damage to you. However, if you simply crouch over it, it will do no damage. So I'm assuming if someone was smart enough, they'd be able to make some sort of trap with these things, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, there's really not much you can really do with them other than just walk over them harmlessly or, well, eventually die from them. In the new Minecraft 1.10 update, you can actually find Enderman naturally, which is actually kind of scary, because if you can see over there, an Enderman actually picked up a nether block. So it's pretty scary, because you never know when an Enderman might go near you as you build a bridge to, say, like a nether fortress and just take the block underneath you, ultimately making you fall in the lava. So these guys being a nether is pretty, well, scary. And also a little weird, because they don't look like they would come in the nether. They look like they would stay on their home planet, the end. Why are you guys here? The next feature in Minecraft 1.10 is actually the bone block, which is actually pretty cool. Now, you can actually find these in structures underground, and I do believe you can craft these with bones or bone meal. And as you guys can see, they actually form in shapes similar to this, and plus they're really cool. As you can see, they almost work like wood does, where if you face a certain way, so does the log or the log of bone or whatever you prefer to call it. 
whatever it is it's a bone block it looks really cool and that's that's all you need to know about it it's a bone block and it looks really cool the next block in minecraft 1.10 is the nether warp block and this block isn't really too special it is literally just another storage block in minecraft but instead of any you know ores or whatever it's actually for the potion device or not potion device but the potion item that you need called the nether wart which you find in the nether and finally they've added a nether wart block to the game which looks really really creepy or gross it looks like blood in a way uh but no you can craft these only using nine nether wart just like you would craft say a diamond block or an iron block whatever type of block you know the usual three by three so uh yeah it's it's kind of pointless, but uh, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Alrighty, guys. So the next feature in this is the data block or the structure block, as it is properly called. As you guys can see, this is actually more of like a command block type of block because I, I mean I know nothing about this stuff. I know nothing about redstone. I know nothing about command blocks, but I do know that this item is used to basically create, I believe, recreate buildings, save files, all that kind of stuff, and it's mainly used for map builders. So it's actually pretty cool, and it might help out with map creations if you are into making Minecraft maps. Alrighty guys, so the next feature is literally unbelievable. This is definitely the best update to Minecraft yet. There is actually a auto jump feature. As you guys can see, I am not pressing space by doing that. I'm literally not pressing space. If you want to know what it sounds like when I press space, that's what it sounds like. I, I am I am not pressing space. You can actually turn this off though, so just in case if you don't want your Minecraft actually auto jumping, all you gotta do is just go to your controls, turn auto jump off, and as you can see, I am not jump anymore. If you want it back on, just go to controls, auto jump on, and I will jump back up. It's really cool, especially if you're like me and you're lazy. Personally, I like the auto jump. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. To and talk. the last feature I want to show you guys is the red nether brick, which you can craft this using the nether work block, which is really cool. Uh, I like these a lot better than the normal nether bricks. If you don't know what the normal nether bricks look like, they're actually a kind of purplish red. Uh, I definitely like the brighter red a lot more. It's more vibrant. I love vibrant. I love bright reds. I love everything red. Red, 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 red. I, lo I, lo I love red. I, I love red. Please, I love red. I dyed my hair for you, red. I have an uh, armband that's red. I did everything for you, red. Everything. Alrighty, so there you guys go. These are the top 10 Minecraft 1.10 updates. If I missed anything, guys, please do leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you have watched this video all the way through, leave a comment saying hashtag zombie pie. Uh, I'm really excited for this Minecraft 1.10 update, and I can't wait to show you guys more features throughout the snapshots and other cool things like that. But anyways, guys, I'm Zombie. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Goodbye, everyone.